as Mrs. Half, Miss Hathaway. She she works hard. She teaches hard. And she cares for her students. Here's a short clip of her. Protect one who designs buildings and oversees their construction. Computation is a calculation, reckoning, or figuring. So you can go, you compute something, you use figures, numbers. Popping in at number nine is Miss Fitzsimmons. She's a very caring math teacher. Um, Look how in tune their students are there. They're really into it. Brilliance. You know you're the teacher when your students pay attention. You like this. You can just leave it like it is. What can we do? It's, there's one term on the bottom. These are the ones you like. Oh, oh so you were just divided? Yeah. So 9 divided by 3. What are you going to separate it? Oh. Okay. 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 Here at number eight is Mrs. Mahalik. She is an anatomy teacher and a biology teacher who is consistently trying to make her students succeed. Add the brain into the left and right side. Uh, you study most of the structures. What is that one sticking out at the very end on the right hand side of your page? Oh, no. Not that's not the avocado. That's the brain stem. So if that's the brain stem, and that's going to go down into the uh, dorsal and inferior portion of your brain. What's the other side then? Flipping her way to number seven is Mrs. King. She's one of the kindest teachers in the school. Look at the way she sits in her chair. Perfect form. Scooting in at number six is Mrs. Purcell. She's such a good Spanish teacher that you could go to Mexico and order a taco with anything you want. Here's a break from our comment down. Let's take a look at our honorable mentions, Mr. Happy and Coach Cruel. He must be pretty strong to hold all them cones. Is that regular or decaf? <laughs> what are you looking at, son of a bitch? Back to the countdown now, number five. Mrs. Steinhoff. She can teach you from anything from driver's ed to health class. Make sure you use your turn signals. Skiing her way into number four is Mrs. Reed. She can teach you history like you were there. She can also take you down the slopes. Let's keep up. Shrugging his way to number three is no other than Mr. Townsend. He'll teach you history and how to lift. I like my truck. What is that, 225? I can bench that. Protein. Workout. Trucks. Guns. Orbiting his way into number two is no one other than Mr. Allen. He's so dedicated to teaching his students that he comes up with unique ways to make them learn. Okay. About 10 hours. It's twice as massive as all the other planets combined, and it has a huge hurricane <coughs> called the Great Red Spot. It is Jupiter. Flamingo. Going flamingo pose. I like it. Wait, how do you like this? Just like that. Three bonus points. We got Loman here shooting his cue ball here on the par three. Him and his putter. Oh, everybody. It's an easy game, boys. Oh. Before I tell you what number one is, let's take a break and look at the student teacher section. Mr. Fields and Mr. Buzzard are both very young and energetic teachers with a very bright future ahead of them. Here we are. That's a creepy picture. Gas masks because what were they using? Gas warfare. Chemical warfare, yep. Here's another picture. So this is what we're doing. No! Slow motion, no! You get up! You get up and you charge! What do you do? but he coaches volleyball and softball. With his energeticness in class and showing us his funnies and singing every Friday, it keeps us very in tune to his teaching. <laughs> hey, your, your Honor, top 10 teacher list, can we record you in the near future? Oh, future? That's all I made? That's what? number one. You are, one. You are number one. <laughs> <laughs> you can run and tell everybody I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Look how he walks. <laughs>